Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. I'm still standing! Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touché. That's two. One more to go. Oh. I wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Kinsey's recording this. Last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Warmed here. Wait, let me try something. Okay. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle, life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. I never did like that.
You're coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. Okay. Z, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. This one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Yeah, what is the pirate of a raven? 
Oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? Just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. 